everybody through the phone, the doors, email, whatever it takes. This whole thing's coming down to turnout. Take your people, your friends, your neighbors to the polls. Didn't he, didn't he want you to get Cousin Pookie? Or was it Uncle Pookie off the couch? Remember that one? Um, all right, folks, welcome back. Uh, believe it or not, the polls in Kentucky close in an hour. Uh, so uh, we're getting down to nitty gritty time. It's very exciting. We're going to have extended election coverage throughout the night right here on Newsmax TV, starting with my special show at 7 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you're tuned right here. Joining us now is our friend John Zogby, CEO of Zogby Analytics and, of course, founder of the Zogby Poll. Hello, John. Hey, Steve. How are you? I'm good, good. I'm very excited. Do I sound excited? I'm like a little kid in a candy store or something. You sound <laughs> excited and excitable. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I'm excited. I'm not excitable right now. But uh, now, you know, <laughs> what about you? I mean, you know, you do this for a living and you do it all the time. So does a night like tonight um, make you nervous or, or how do you view it? No, it doesn't make me nervous anymore. I've been doing it a long time, but you know, it really is very exciting. Uh, this is this is the main event for us guys, and uh, and I, you know, the juices get going, of course. Right. All right. Even so, what is wrong. your prediction? Right. Okay. Well, you 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 have a great track record, as you know, and I don't have to tell you that, but I will. Uh, so, what is your uh, prediction uh, going into tonight, as far as the Senate goes? I hesitate to make predictions. I'm going to make suggestions. I think it's going to be a good Republican night, uh, uh, insofar as the, the main event, which is the, the Senate. You know, they need six seats. I think they'll get six seats and possibly eight seats. And then, of course, you know, uh, Georgia and Louisiana uh, uh, both may go into runoff, uh, uh, which doesn't really favor Democrats. Um, However, you know, Mary Landrieu has been in runoffs before and actually won them. And in uh, Georgia, while uh, Republicans normally win, um, you know, you, 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 uh, the uh, runoffs, that is, uh, you, you've got a very strong Democratic candidate. But even uh, without those two states, I, th I think that the, the GOP gets, gets the six they need. And you made an important point about Georgia because Georgia has gone, to, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, they go into runoffs. They've gone into runoffs a lot. And as you pointed out, it's uh, the Republican who usually emerges victorious. So, um, you know, if this goes into a runoff, uh, you know, the media is already kind of spinning it as a, as a Democratic victory of sorts. But that, historically speaking, that's not the case. Uh, no, historically it isn't. By the same token, you do have some, some changing demographics in Georgia, uh, not only an increased uh, African-American vote, but you have just enough growth among Latinos. And then that group uh, that we, we call in economic development anyway, the, the creative class, um, who, who tend to be socially liberal and, and are in the Atlanta area, Savannah area, Athens area, and, and so on. And so uh, history may not necessarily be the proper way of of looking at this, right. I, I think it's it becomes an even race. If it go, if what about it goes Alaska? In. I'm sorry. What about Alaska? Um, this is a state. You know, of course, we might have to wait till tomorrow morning, well into the morning, uh, uh, or tomorrow to, to find out the results of. But where, where do you see that one? I, I, I'm really putting that in the GOP corner. It's close. You know, it's only a two and a half point race, but. Number one, uh, the, the latest polls have all had uh, Dan Sullivan leading by a couple of points. Actually, a few of them have him leading by, by as much as four. And then secondly, those target groups that I talked about in Georgia and maybe in, in other states as well really don't exist to a great degree in Alaska. You know, the, the, the kinds of things that a heavy turnout uh, factor among demo, key demographics could, could put Mark right. Begich uh, over the top. Now, look, I could be dead wrong, but I, that's, that's a state that, that I think goes GOP. Okay, no, it always comes with that qualifier, absolutely. We know you're not uh, guaranteeing anything, but uh, what about biggest surprises, including governor's races, Senate, whatever? I mean, what, what do you expect as a surprise tonight or something that might not have been expected a couple of weeks ago? Well, I, I think clearly Gene Shaheen in New Hampshire and, and uh, Gene Shaheen and, and Scott Brown. Uh, that was not supposed to be. It got closer and then it got too close. And you have the two last polls that come out 
one showing her up by one and the other showing Scott Brown up by one. The same thing, incidentally, with the gubernatorial race, which also wasn't supposed to be close in New Hampshire. And so we've got a very interesting election. You know, on one hand, it, the, the Senate races, uh, to some degree the House, uh, you know, are really a referendum on, on uh, Barack Obama. On the other hand, the gubernatorial races, so many of which are close, all of New England, for example, but so many going out to Wisconsin, Florida, uh, uh, Colorado. Are right, they're, they're more of a referendum the, on a local, uh, a local level, yeah, state level. John, got to go. Yeah. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. Always great to talk to John sure. Zogby. We're coming back. Look at the House with Real Clear Politics, Adam O'Neill.